Harry and Meghan reject claims they will sue South Park as baseless and boring. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry dispelled rumors suggesting they are considering legal action after being mocked in South Park. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have rubbished claims that they are considering legal action against South Park, which poked fun at them in the 26th season of the animated satire. A spokesperson for the Sussexes rejected the notion of the episode having legal ramifications, branding it baseless and boring. Rumors swirled about the couple possibly considering action after an unconfirmed report claimed their legal team are casting an eye over the South Park episode titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour. What's more, sources close to the couple claim that Meghan has spent the past few days upset and overwhelmed about how she was portrayed. Rejecting the possibility of taking legal action, a spokesperson for the Sussexes told People, it's all frankly nonsense. Totally baseless, boring reports. The show roasted the Sussexes, describing the Princess of Canada, a thinly veiled parody of Meghan, as a sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim at one point during the episode. Harry also comes in for a drubbing during the show, with his memoir, Spare, referenced. The host of a fictional talk show titled a loosely based autobiography as Wa in the cartoon. During the breakfast television show, called Good Morning Canada, the Prince of Canada and his wife are seen holding placards that read, We want privacy, and, Stop looking at us. Meghan and Harry eventually relocated, in a bid to find privacy, to the small town of South Park, and bought their new home just next door to Kyle's. The house, drawn in typical South Park style, looked decorated with signs asking people to respect our privacy and leave us alone. U.S. reaction to the show has further fanned the flames, with viewers reveling in the depiction of the Sussexes. Vicky from New York tweeted, Indeed they have become a laughing stock. She added that the South Park episode is a much-deserved and scathing reflection of Harry and Meghan's real-life self-glorification, suggesting the couple had reached parodic level. Likewise, Mike from Wisconsin praised South Park's creators for the depiction, tweeting, God bless Trey Parker and Matt Stone. The parody comes after opinion polls suggest Harry and Meghan's popularity is on the decline in the U.S. A poll of 2,000 U.S. voters published six days after the release of Spare found the Duke's popularity had slumped stateside. Prior to publication, Harry had a favorability rating of plus 38, according to a December 5th poll of 2,000 U.S. voters for Newsweek. As of January 16th, this had plunged to minus 7.